I mean, you're gonna wanna open up the French marketplaces. We, at the time, we, our website was, was not in French. Uh, none of our PowerPoints were in French. Uh, there was nothing in French. And he went into that marketplace and helped inspire and train and lead that whole French revolution. He's done a tremendous job. And uh, as far as the company goes, we are forever, forever grateful for uh, what Danny's done. And uh, he's a tremendous leader. He'll always have a part in this company no matter what. And I appreciate you. So with that, come on up in. And I would tell you, the other thing is that no, half people don't even know all the challenges that you had to overcome. But yeah, he, he's a champion. And a leader always has such a great, great attitude, tremendous energy. So I'm going to let you to do what you do and get close to me. All right? Okay, Woo! Yes, yes, yes. Wow. Um, being introduced like this is powerful. It gives you those bumps, you know? <laughs> uh, thank you, David, for everything that you've done. Uh, thank you, uh, Todd, uh, for today, uh, your training. I took tons of notes. Please send me uh, your PowerPoints. I can translate to the French. Uh, I'm saying it now so I don't forget. Uh, Trevorian, wow, man, what can I say? Uh, it changed my life. Uh, I'm forever grateful that um, I took a chance. All of you are taking a chance. You guys came on vacation, you guys made a video, or someone shared your text. Uh, you invite a friend, like, come on this trip with me and you'll have a little meeting, you know? And they say yes. Uh, you never know what's gonna happen, but you gotta take a chance. You gotta be like, what's the worst? I live with that word. What's the worst that can happen, right? Um, so when I got introduced in the business, I, did, I didn't take that chance right away about the business side, but I took a chance on the travel side. Because to me, it just made sense. Say, hey, Danny, you'll be able to travel for less. Okay, yes, where do I sign? I, got, I don't have to think twice. It's like the first time someone told me, Danny, you know Costco has gas station now. It's cheaper. <laughs> I'll be right there, right? It's just common sense. So um, I didn't get started right away. There's a bunch of reasons why I did it but I enjoyed the travel side. I traveled with the company. So my belief on saving money was skyrocket. Like to me, no one could tell me I cannot save money. And when you want to make money, you also got to save it. That's how people usually do it. When you ask someone, how do you make more money? It's like, well, I got to cut back, mm -hmm. right? Everybody cuts back. So when you can save money on travel, that means you have more money in your pocket to do other things. So to me, the travel side makes sense. Okay, I'll save money. I get to do whatever I want to do. But when I go on the trip, it's costing me less. Uh, and then, like, you know, Todd talked about it today and he brought back memories. And David mentioned it too. I tried network marketing before. This is not my first rodeo. But did I win? No, I failed. I did not make money, right? I tried maybe like a total of six companies, and all six shut down. So I'm not even one of those guys that just jumped from one deal to the next. I had to leave because those companies were no longer existing. Um, but my uncle introduced me to network marketing, and I remember the first thing he told me that got, that got me excited. He's like, "We're gonna get, we're gonna be rich." Come on, you tell that to anybody, like, eh, "We're gonna be rich." Oh, where do I sign up? Like, no, 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 I took care of it. I paid for you. But he didn't tell you he wasn't going to be around. He just said we're going to be rich. And he left. So every time I had to figure it out on my own. But I always said, okay, well, I'm in it. So I might as well do it, even though he's not there. So I know the feeling sometimes when you do the business. Like I, I, spoke, I spoke up with Sonia and like Stephanie. And we're like, we're still here as partners, but you'll lose partners, right? I know what it's like to be on the other side where someone brings you in and that person leaves. And you're like, well, should I stay? Well, yes. You should just be thankful that you got offered the opportunity. And then it's up to you to run with it. It's up to you to do something about it, right? Someone blessed you with a, with a tool, a vehicle for you to ride, well, take it. Um, and then when I got started with this one, I finally said, okay, I'm gonna get going with Chavornium. I was like, okay, well, how do I do it? <laughs> right, because I know every time I tried, it didn't work out. I said, okay, well, there's videos on YouTube, there's coaching, there's mentoring, there's books, there's all this knowledge that's out there. But 
Um, what was powerful is that in this company, there was already proven leaders. People like Todd, like David, that's been in the game for 30 plus years. I'm like, well, all I have to do is show up. There's trainings on Saturday, there's presentations on Mondays. All I gotta do is show up and listen, and then take what they're saying, and I'll do it myself. Go open the Zoom and repeat what I've learned. I don't have to invent anything, just repeat. So at the beginning, I remember the first time me and my partner, because he's French, uh, Bryce, and uh, I was like, okay, so we're gonna do this. And he's like, well, I don't speak English in the company. I didn't mention everything was in English. I said, okay, well, I'll translate it to you, and then, you know, you're gonna do it with French people. <laughs> he's like, okay. So the challenges were, 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 I mean, it was like thinking about climbing a mountain but not knowing how to get there. But I said, you know what, let's do it, let's try it, right? And I remember going on a trip, uh, it was a cruise, and, um, there was a bunch of people at that cruise, and there was uh, also the uh, 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 people that spoke Spanish that was on that cruise. And I was like, this is powerful. They have Spanish people doing the business too. And man, if we really build this thing in French, we could be like, you know, and I remember Spanish was huge. I'm like, oh, I wanna be like them. So within the company, I found a reason to motivate myself, to, to be inspired, right? And today I look at this room and I'm like, you, you guys understand how lucky you are to be part of this pilot thing? This is the first meeting, right? This is the first meeting. The next time you're gonna go to an ambassador trip like this, it's gonna be a big room, a bunch of people at a world tour, and you'll be able to say, well, I was there the first time. That's powerful, that, like you take a picture of this moment, and then you can frame it out and say, oh, I remember the first time, and David was there, and he spoke with everybody, and I was taking notes. And you're gonna be in front of a crowd of thousands of people who are like, well, I bought this thing. Man, he built, he started this, and I was there in 2023. We're at the Grand Palladium. So we're part of history. So for me, that's, a, that's, a, that's another motivation. I'm being part of a history. I'm with a company that's 11 years old, but we're starting things right now. See, that's why I was counting all the trips, because David always said, David, you travel a lot. But hey, it's not me, it's you. <laughs> it's, not, it's not me. I'm not trying to travel all the time. It's you, brother. And I got one, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, think about it. Six vacation. We have 12 months. I'm gone half the year. <laughs> right off the bat, I know I'm gone half the year. That's going to be me booking on the travel side. That's going to be me doing my own thing. Half the year as an ambassador, I'm going to be gone. That's the lifestyle that I want, right? There's so many ways to make money out there. But when you can ask anybody that has money, and you say, what do you do with your money? What makes you happy? They go on the trip. They travel. There's three weddings here this weekend. Three weddings. Right? right? They couldn't stay home. They said, oh, I'm getting married. That old man can meet for a woman. We're going somewhere. <laughs> and that's the travel industry. And you can ask any of your girlfriends, right? Any of your girlfriends, you can ask them this. If you ask them, listen, if I'm going to get married, are you going to show up? Where did, they'll find the money. That's the one trip that everyone will find the money. If you're one of your best friends calls you tomorrow, they said, I'm getting married in Jamaica in two weeks, you're going to call, listen, I'm out. I'm gone. I have to be there, right? So travel is big. Like to me, it's just common sense that we have two for one here. I don't care if you sell juice, shakes, pills, whatever out there, you say the best company in the world. I don't care because once you make money, you're gonna to wanna to travel. And this is what I am. Right? I, I hear a lot of people talk about work and work is work is work. For me, I don't even see the word work. Look at, I'm in shorts. Does that look like it's work to me? I'm wearing one of the flip-flops all over the place. I'm in the pool taking pictures. Does that look like work? Right? I wake up at noon, I go to bed at 3 a.m., I do what I want, when I want. This, for me, it's not work, right? But so the power of this business changed my life, and now I'm at the point where my, I, 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 when I teach and I coach people, I can't give them a 10 year of experience, I can't give them my failures. But I can let them know, I know what's gonna happen for you because it happened to me. I know people are gonna say no. Right? I know we're going to say, oh, it's a scam, it's this, it's that. Well, scam says are still confused about money. Right? Todd showed it in so many ways with this. When people said, oh, is this one of those pyramid things? I'm like, yes. And it pays. <laughs> but they don't expect that. They expect me to say, well, no, it's not because we actually have a product. And they want me to go in a dictionary. And like, no. Yes, it is. And it pays. 
look at my life right now, right? When, uh, so I just got a rental, a quick story, I just got a rental place with my mom. My mom is in Canada, and every time I travel, I come back home. So now I gotta find a new place. So even the new landlord, when, because I had to sign for my mom, because my mom's retired, she still make enough money. So that's another reminder for me, like, wow, my mom re- worked as a nurse her whole life. She's retired today, can't afford rent. How does that make sense? Right? How does that make sense? And now the, 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 the landlords are saying you need to earn two to three times the income. So she would have to make $6,000 to afford a $2,000 apartment. So she's out of the system. They, they don't even look at it. So then I come in, I'm like, well, hey, Chavoyam, I got a paper here. This is my income. I get paid every week. I send this in. The lady's like, that's not government. <laughs> right? What, what, what's Chavoyam? Oh, it's my company I work for They're in California. They're not in Canada? No. Hmm. Right? Look, I brought a right? <laughs> Is this real? Like they start thinking, like, is this a real job? Like, mm-hmm. what is it that you do? I help people make money from home by saving money to travel. You gotta validate that. You had to you emailed our CFO for for a for, for a letter, yes. Proof of income. Proof of income. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Right. So they're like, okay, is this is this a real deal? So one lady said, you know what, no problem. You know what, I saw, I saw four of the families. I'm going to say yes to you. I have a, I feel the energy. I'm like, well, thank God for the energy, man. Right? I mean, if all my proof didn't make it, I'm happy that you, spe- you feel energy. So we got the place, right? And we got the place. Now, I haven't moved in yet. We're moving at the end of uh, August. <laughs> last, no, not last night. So last night was Friday, Thursday. I don't know. I traveled. Thursday night, she sends me a message on WhatsApp. So, Danny, I don't want to bother you on your vacation, but I'm trying to book my trip to Brazil. Can you help me? <laughs> right? So, our business, like, you don't think about who everyone around you needs to know you're in travel. Everybody around you. I took a pic, I, I, when I checked into this hotel, I, I walked in. And you know, they all, they have the blue shirts, right? This is the guys with the blue shirts. They're like, hey, como esta? You know, they're trying to talk, I don't speak Spanish. I said, listen, I don't speak Spanish, but I speak money. Oh, sir, oh, okay, money, yeah. Like, they don't expect me to say that. I don't speak Spanish, but I speak money. I go, listen, I'm gonna go check in real quick, but you wanna make some money? He's like, of course I wanna make some money. I'm out here working, <laughs> right? He's like, he's like, listen, I'm like, listen, open your WhatsApp right now. He opens his WhatsApp, I said, hold on, let me scan. I'm going to send you a video, take a look at it. If you like what you see, don't you say in Spanish or English? Because English is okay. okay. I'm going to send you, take a look at this video, message me back, I talk money, my friend. All right, bro? Boom, boom. I walk back and I, and I checked in. Then I told her that story. She opens the phone, she goes, well, I talked to a lady too. Then Sonia yesterday, my bracelet wasn't working. So now let's go to the, the, to the front to get a new bracelet. While I'm walking in, there's a little young lady that said, hola, and she starts speaking Spanish. I don't speak Spanish, right? So I keep walking, by the time I walk back, so it's like, oh, I got a number. <laughs> we don't stop. It's not something you do part-time. It's not something you're like, oh, yeah, okay, what time is it? It's 4 p.m. Let me work on my business. You go to the drive thru and down, yeah, my ice cream, yeah. You want me some money? It's everywhere. It's everywhere. It's a non-stop thing. You gotta, you gotta breathe this thing, right? Because you don't know who's who, what. You don't know what people's going through their timing. I have a lady this morning, I woke up, I looked at my text message, she put me on a three-way chat. I started, I started responding, and then one of them actually got the information, okay? She said, yes, let's say you talk to someone and say, hey, do you wanna make some money? They say, yes. They say, okay, hold on, let me put you with my partner who's gonna explain the business. She opened the three-way chat with me. I got into the three-way chat. Hey, second day, second, you know, I'm going to Canada, blah, 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 blah. I got my thing working out. No response. Uh, two hours later, no thank you, it's not for me. Don't leave. So then I'm like, okay, so now I got to talk to my partner to make him understand that it's okay, it happens. I don't want to feel bad. She's like, Danny, I did exactly what you told me to do. I put someone on the phone with you, and they left. Just like that. So then I got a message, I said, hey, it happens. Bring me another one. Yeah. So then, well, I'm gonna bring you one another one. I need this to work. 
I will be out of a job in March. I have to be a two star before March. There's no other options here. There's no. So I'm like, let's get it done. So when Todd was talking about looking for people that are looking, that are like this, those are the people you're looking for. Right? Spend your energy and time on people that actually want to do this. Because don't talk to a lot of people and say, yes, I want to do it. And then you're like, you told me you wanted to do this, but I don't, I, I don't see you. Maybe, at least they're in. Maybe they're like me. Maybe it'll take them a year to get stuff. At least they're in. You know how many people that join me, I haven't done nothing, and I'm looking for a reason to get them going, but I just call them. I say, hey, by the way, did you look at your left leg? What, what's my left leg? Did you flash a training? That's why I did with her. I called, I called her up. Sure, I said, hey, sure, have you seen your left leg? She's like, oh, what? Let me see. And then she looked, I'm like, you're already, you're already a two-star. Just go work on the other side. She's like, yeah, yeah, I got it. Yes, then I then I said, you know what, I'm coming to Las Vegas. And I didn't tell her how long I was coming. I told her I was coming for a week. Nice. One week. I don't know her that much. I told her one week, but I know I was going to five. But I want my vacation. I gave her week one. I, I called her. She's like, oh, can we meet up and start working? I'm like, okay. Second day, she called me. She goes, can I see you today? I don't want to take too much of your time. I'm like, okay. Third day, she's like, what are you doing tonight? Can I see you for an hour? I said, okay. Four days. So then it's like... Do you mind for four days? Like, it's your Okay, fifth day, Danny, can we meet up at Starbucks? Okay, sixth day, Danny, can we meet up? It's been a week. Mm. Then I'm like, I guess I can tell you, I'm gonna be here for four months. She was great. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> right? And now she's excited, she's about to be a one star, she's gonna work for a two star one, and she's trying to emulate, do things that I'm doing. So I found someone that's motivated. I didn't have to call her, she called me. She's like, Danny, if you're up to 4 o'clock in the morning, I'll be up to 4 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> now I match my level. <laughs> right? Mm-hmm. So you, but it'll take time. It'll take time. It'll take time. So now I'm doing the math in my head. I'm like, okay, well, if I talk to 20 people and 20 say no, and then I talk to 50 people and I get one that says, signs up, but doesn't do nothing, you know, I don't like these numbers. I, I got to get bigger numbers. In, 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 in network marketing, I've always seen big leaders say, okay, so if you talk to 10, one will sign, right? I'm like, 10? And I can talk to 10 right here. And they all say no, then my business, I'm out of business. Then some leaders say, okay, well, if you talk to 100, one out of 100. I'm like, I can talk to 100 in 30 minutes. <laughs> then I'm out of business. So now I say, you know what? I got to talk to 1,000. And why 1,000? Because I know most people, before they even get there, they'll either quit or they'll keep on, or they'll find someone. Now my numbers are, are, are bigger and bigger every time. Bigger and bigger every time. I, she, she's like, Daniel, okay, how many people I gotta talk to? Because you run the real numbers? I thought I, thought, I thought it would scare her away. I said, 3,000. She goes, 3,000, okay. <laughs> I, I thought it would scare her. She said, no, I, I can do 3,000. I go, what's 3,000? Well, break it down, 3,100 people a day. A hundred people a day is what? 50 in the morning, 50 in the afternoon. How long does it take you to talk to 50 people? 30 minutes. Well, that brings it up to one hour. So you, you guys don't have one? Put one in the air. Everybody got one hour to work? Oh, hell yeah. Everybody can put one hour of work. But hell yeah. But now, it's not the hour of work that's going to be the struggle. It's you sitting down, grabbing your phone, like, man, I got to do this for one hour straight. Having the motivation to do it. But if you don't have a why, you're going to be like, oh, I'm going to talk to you. Oh, here's one birthday. Here's two birthdays. It's pretty nice outside. We should really go to Home Depot. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to do my gardening, flowers. I'm going to get back to this. Let me send one more message. Da, da. Let me see. Is there a spelling mistake? Okay. I don't look at this. It's like, okay, I got to do, do my honey real quick. You know what? If I'm going to do honey, I'm going to do 200 because what else am I going to do? I'm doing this full time. I have nothing else to do, right? I have nothing else to do. I got to do this full time. I got to talk to as many people. The, the, it's a race. Right now, I'm telling you guys, it's a race for people to know who we are. Because one day, you'll talk to someone and be like, oh, Tavo, Tavoyan, right? Tavoyan. And you'll be like, oh, shoot, you in? Yeah, I'm in. Yeah. It's going to be too late. By the time you guys wake up and get the feeling of like, oh, I'm going to talk about Tavoyan, it's going to be too late. 
Right now, nobody knows who we are. So it's the best time to run. When people say, oh, daddy, I'll get back to you. I'm like, man, you're missing the boat. It's right now. Right. If I touch you before she touched you, I got you already. Like, oh, I've been approaching already. So you guys gotta run with this business, right? Like your life depended on it. Uh, someone told me, Danny, if your house was on fire, your whole family's in there, your mother's on the second floor, your house is on fire, the only way you can save her is by recruiting someone down the street. What would you do? Well, I'm gonna knock on every single door. But we don't act like the house is on fire. We act like, no, everything's okay. Tomorrow's, you know, tomorrow's Sunday, all right, okay. Then it's Monday, get back on the plane, go home, relax. But that's, if you really want things to change in your business, if you want to succeed, pretend that your house on fire every day. That's the attitude you need to have, but you might not find people that have the attitude today right now. So it's okay, they come in, and then you kind of, you know, you let them know, hey, Right? Until you find someone that runs with it. Right? Our business is all about leverage. Leverage. So you want as many people to work at least one hour a day. That will give you your freedom. But it's the numbers thing. Don't get caught up. It's like, oh, I'm trying to get my three. <coughs> okay, get your three. Then what? What if the three are just chilling and they want your customers? What are you going to do? You're going to beat down your customers every day? Hey, let's go. Let's go get that money. Let's go. They'll be like, hey, 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 listen. I'm about to go on a world tour. <laughs> right? I'm about to go on a chill. So I understand. I learned that now that I could sign someone today and tomorrow they're thinking about a child. They're not thinking about making money. They're, I can't, I'm not a Houdini. I don't know. When someone joins me, I don't know what they want. I'm going with what they're saying. Danny, I'm going to be your top leader. You know how many times someone told me to be my next leader? Danny, I'm going to sign up with you. Man, I'm going to kill this thing. <laughs> I'm, going to, I'm, going to, I'm going to sign the whole city. I'm going to put it on a rock. Right? They out there like preachers. Oh, Danny, the things I'm going to do. And I'm like, mm-hmm. I heard yeah. that last week. I'd rather when people don't say nothing. Right? They don't say nothing. They just go to work. So you're gonna get in a situation where people are gonna make you think that they're, they're like your next Superman. Yeah. Don't get caught up in that. Keep working. Keep always keep working. We have a compensation plan that pays you a lot of money for you to have a team and to have partners. Go get that money. I just explained to Sherry this week how the commission works. She's like, they call it commission. She's like, what's that? She didn't even know about that. I, you, you, yeah. you, you, you see the power of the Golden Commission? Yeah. Woo! Mm. <laughs> Thank you, David. <laughs> hey, there's a lot of money. <laughs> they say thank you, David, in the back. There's a lot of money in Golden Commission. But how do you make more money in Golden Commission? By helping more people sign up. By helping, I broke it down real quick. Every person I sign personally that becomes an ambassador, minimum make ten thousand dollars per person. Minimum, and that's in a perfect world. In a perfect world, that means they sign one, they sign two, they sign three, and it's all perfect, 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 perfect. And they're perfect world. <laughs> exactly. But is that gonna happen? No. They don't have a leg that's gonna run, and then they're gonna be like, man, I'm stuck here. Man, me and me, I'm at the top like this one. It's okay, man. Change, 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 there's no, there's no, do you see the complaint? Did they say you can only have a three directs or did they say unlimited? Then run, run. And that's why I realized the answer. Someone quit, you sign somebody else. I don't care, you quit, it's okay, I'm gonna sign someone tomorrow. I'm gonna sign as many people as possible. I'm gonna touch as many people as possible to build the biggest, baddest team as possible. I want to be able to walk in the airport and go, hey, Danny, tomorrow, whoa, let's go. 
I want the guy at the airport to see you be like, hey, oh, that's Buster right there, IBNT, what's up, man? Yo, I'm about to be two-star. I want everybody everywhere. Right? Everywhere. What city do you live in? Maryland. Maryland. What city do you live in? Maryland, too? Yeah, Washington, D.C. Washington, D.C.? Yeah. Maryland. Maryland? Go lock it down. Go lock it down. Lock it down. Lock it down. At the top of my head, I can't think someone that's a two-star, three-star ambassador in your city, so go lock it down. Because I'm coming to your city. Right? Go lock it down. And then we're going to have the biggest, Trevorian has to be and will be the biggest company in the world. It will be. Hands down. Hands down. So I'll end, I'll end it with this. For you guys to have your new life, you have to let go your old life. Right. Are you willing to make that trade? Yes. Mm -hmm. 100%. I'll say it one more time. For you to have your new life, you have to let go of your old life. Mm -hmm. It's not something to happen. So your old habits, going out to the club, the friends, the barbecues, and all that stuff, mm -mm. you gotta let that go to have the life that you want. Mm -hmm. When I'm at home, and I'm, I'm with my mom's like, you going out to like, go where? I got no friends. Nobody's in my business here. I'm on my phone. I'm on my couch. All day, every day, all I think about is this business. All day, every day, I let go of my old life. I used to be out all the time, chilling, friends, cruising down the downtown, put my windows down. Yeah. Yeah. For what? That didn't give me no money. Now I want this new life. I want what I see. When I see David and Adele and I see their lifestyle, I'm like, man, I want a house just like him. He's on top of a mountain. I want to be on top of a mountain too. But I don't want to only be on one mountain. I want a mountain, I want a house on Bali Mountain, I want a house in Thailand, I want a house everywhere. I want to go, oh, I want to call my partners with an ALU Miami. Yeah, I, I got a condo there, I'll be right there. I want to have a condo anywhere. I want to take it to a, a level that is crazy. But I know I can. I know the vehicle is there. Right? I, my, my mom, when she went to Vegas, she was like, actually the first time my mom really realized what we had was during the pandemic. When we went to Cancun for two months, she's like, this is real. She couldn't see it until she lived it. So when people start traveling, using the product and seeing, people might not believe what you're going to achieve, but it's okay. You know you're gonna get it done, right? So go after it. You guys, uh, I'm happy you guys are here. I'm happy that my partners are here. Uh, we're gonna do big things. And he didn't have, sometimes, I, I, I thought this all the time, when, when you talk about the power of bonus, I said, why? He said, Guts. <laughs> when, he, when he's adding uh, a house and wherever he's gonna buy that house, so that we can use it, I'm like, why? Because. When's the last time you went to your job and you got a raise or a bonus and you're like, why? You said, oh, because. <laughs> that doesn't happen. No. It never happens. No. So I didn't, so the company is growing and they're just like, yeah, let me throw some more money in there. Why? Because. Say thank you to David Hart for his biggest part. This guy, he just wants to give, and he gives so much. All we have to do is accomplish his plan in return. So he gives us all of this, all the book tool, the, the one dollar, the personal data, the slides. He comes out, he does all of this, and he wants one thing in return, for us to go bless others. That's it. So let's go and bless as many people as possible. I'll, by the way, I'm going to run to the pool and get as many customers as you guys better run after me. Boss one.